guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So I have got five products here in front of me that I don't want you to waste your money on. Essentially, these are products that were hyped up, that everybody was raving on about, that I spent my own money on that were a total fail. They're just not good enough quality. They're totally not worth the money. And yeah, I just don't want you wasting your money on them like I did. I mean, nobody wants to waste their money, right? <laughs> There's nothing more disappointing than being excited about spending your money on something and then like you get totally catfished. That's what these products are. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So if you are interested in learning about five products that you shouldn't waste your money on, then please keep on watching. All right, first up is a big ass eyeshadow palette from MAC. Now this is the MAC Times 15 Warm Neutral uh, Eyeshadow Palette. You guys, this was like, from memory, I feel like about $130 to buy. It was insanely, insanely expensive, but it is just, one of the biggest wastes of my own money, honestly. So obviously you can see it is a very neutral eyeshadow palette, but literally this color, this color, this color, this color, and this color all look the same on my eye. Like you cannot discern the difference between them at all. And all the other colors in here, like I just, I realistically have in other eyeshadow palettes and I have in other palettes that not only are more, like a lot more affordable, but just the formulation is a lot better. I do love the MAC individual eyeshadows. Like I find them to be really, really good. Um, I don't really reach for them as much as I used to. Um, because there are so many other, you know, options on the market and stuff. Um, but uh, I just, this is not the same formula. I just feel like their palettes, like the MAC palettes, are just a real miss. Uh, such a waste of money for me. I never, ever, ever use this. I can't do anything with it. Uh, it doesn't have a mirror, so it's no good for traveling as well. It's just like a really bland, wishy-washy. Yeah, I wouldn't be wasting my money on this, you guys. I just, it's... It's really not worth it. Okay, next up I have this bronzer from Too Faced. I'm pretty sure this went viral on TikTok. Uh, it is the Bear It All Bronzer in Honey Bun Glow. It's like a little teddy bear on the front. Like the whole, like the packaging is really cute, don't get me wrong. But the actual formula, like, I don't know. It's essentially a shimmery highlighter. I have tried it over and over. Uh, I don't mind it as a highlighter and as an all over cheek topper, but... For the price and for the hype and for what it's marketed as, like I just, I, I really don't think you should waste your money on this. I think that there are much better formulas, much better shimmery kind of bronzers, much better shimmery highlighters at the drugstore. And another thing that I found about it is I have to like really dig my brush into it, like to really pick up any pigmentation. This is what it looks like on my skin. Like you can barely see it. You can really barely see it on my cheeks. I was really disappointed because I saw all of the hype about it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks incredible. <sighs> After using it for about, I probably had it for about a month and a half. After using it now, I just, I really don't think that you should waste your money on this at all. All right, next up is the Il Maquillage Foundation. Now I did a foundation review on this a few weeks ago. It might even have been more than a month ago now. I can't quite remember. And in that video, I was like super straight up. Like it wasn't the best foundation that I'd ever used. It wasn't the worst foundation I'd ever used. But the amount of hype that this gets online, like this is one of the most hyped up foundations. Uh, according to the brand themselves, they've got like over 300,000 like glowing reviews for it. I just don't understand. Like it is so insanely expensive. I think here in Australia, it's about $80. Like it is just not worth the price tag. Like it's an okay foundation. It looks okay on the skin to start with. It looks quite smoothing. After about six hours on me, it's kind of like meh. And just for the price tag and all of the hype, like I feel like you can get much, much, much better formulas at the drugstore. L'Oreal foundations, I think are much better than this. Maybelline foundations, I think are much better than this. Um, I just think that it's a really, really overhyped product that you shouldn't waste your money on. Like it's all over Facebook, it's all over Instagram, it's all over TikTok, it's all over Snapchat. Everyone's talking about this, but it's just like, meh. It just fell flat. So yeah, for the price tag, I don't think that you should waste your money on this. All right, next up, I've got a mascara from Huda Beauty. This is their Legit Lashes Mascara. This is a double-ended mascara. So one end, you've got like a rubbery kind of brush, like a rubbery bristled brush. And then at the other end, you have a curved rubber bristle brush. Um, I, this is another product that gets a lot of attention, that's had a lot of hype, but I honestly don't think that it is worth wasting your money on unless you already have perfectly long, perfectly curled, like supermodel eyelashes. 
I cannot get this to do anything for me. I have tried it so many different ways. I've tried it with curling my lashes. I've tried it without. I've tried only using one end. I've tried using both ends in combination. It just falls flat every single time. It leaves my lashes quite short. It leaves them with not much volume. It makes them quite spidery. It's quite a wet formula, so they all sort of stick together. I don't know, I just can't understand the hype for this. And the before and after pictures that are going around kind of of people using it, like even if you look at the before pictures, these girls have got insanely long natural lashes that are just so beautiful and like curled and perfect. Any mascara is going to look good on those lashes. Um, yeah, Huda Beauty herself has got amazing natural lashes. Like I just, I don't think that you should waste your money on these. I just think that there are again, much better formulations at the drugstore. Maybelline has got much better formulations for literally a fraction of the price. Like the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara is a really, really good one. Uh, the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. It's just, yeah, for the money that you have to spend to get this, you're not going to see the results. So yeah, I wouldn't be wasting my money on this. And then last but not least is this little blush highlighter duo from Guerlain. Now Guerlain is up there, up there, up there, up there in price. As far as high end luxury makeup goes, it's a designer brand. Um, I've actually got a really nice perfume from them. It's like black robe, La Petite Robe Noir or something. It's an incredible fragrance. Like I couldn't recommend that anymore. But you guys, their blushes and highlights, wow, what a waste of money. I had to spend so much money to get this and it barely shows up on my skin. The blush is like really powdery and patchy and it just doesn't look nice. It adds texture to the skin and the highlighter you literally cannot even see on my skin at all. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's such a shame because like I said, like it's a super, super, super high end luxe product. And I just think if you're going to be spending this kind of money on a blush, wow. It better, at least bare minimum, look nice on the skin. And this one just doesn't at all. It's just, it was such an epic waste of money for me. I can't even remember who influenced me to buy this. I saw somebody raving on about it and I was like, I have to have it. But then I got it and I was like, wow, catfish moment. <laughs> just not worth it at all. And you know what else makes this totally bizarre? It comes with a little puff, like like a powder puff. Like it, nobody applies their blush and highlighter this way. Like I just don't understand. Um, yeah, it's a no for me, guys. I, I don't want you to waste your money on this. Don't buy into the hype. It's not worth it. You don't need it. There are so many more incredible blushes for a much like probably like even like one sixth, one seventh of the price of this at the drugstore that look nicer on the skin, that last longer on the skin. Um, yeah. It's a no. But there you go, guys. Those were five products that I wouldn't waste my money on. I mean, if I could have my time over again, I would not have bought these. <laughs> but let me know if you enjoyed this video and I can do heaps more in future. I honestly have heaps of products here that just was such an epic disappointment. So if you want to see more in future, absolutely let me know. And also let me know in the comments, what is a product that you wish that you didn't waste your money on? Because we've all got one. We've all had this disappointing moment we've been so excited and it arrives in the mail and we're just like yes and then we're just like oh why why did I do that <laughs> but give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it I love you all heaps and I will catch you in my next one bye